did you see combat? <laughs> we were in, we were in three three major invasions and one Japanese fleet surface engagement. We sunk a Japanese battleship. <laughs> to give okay. you an idea, uh, we had 14-inch guns. We had 12 of them. You know, the ship did. Most battleships had 16 16 inch guns, like the Jersey. Uh, but the California was commissioned in 1919, and they, they were still using 14 inch, you know, you know, major things. But anyway, uh, I think, you know, like a 14 inch projectile is about this big, and naturally 14 inches, you know, round. He would know more about that. But anyway, uh, we were. Kind of, when the Japanese fleet was coming up here, they were they were coming to a point and then they would turn. Now this is what they call a T, crossing the T. Maybe you've heard that as a naval naval thing, because when it, when when an admiral crosses the T, that's a biggie, you know, because he can train all his guns on you, and then you coming up and you're the only ones you can have is the one in the front, and that that projectile was so big that you can track it by radar. And that's what, that's, that's what we were doing. Uh, we were firing nine gun salvos and they had 63 hits on this Japanese battleship and then it disappeared off the, you know, off the screen. So we were carrying Admiral Oldendorf at the time. So we were the flag, as they say. And uh, so we ended up painting, <laughs> painting that battleship on our, you know, uh, you know, the upper superstructure, yeah. Okay. Did it, was, you... it was a fun night, all in the dark. <laughs> mm. Did you experience any casualties in your unit? Well, not that time, but when, when, we, when we did the, the northern Philippines, that's Lingayan Gulf, uh, if you're familiar with the Philippines, and uh, that was our second. See, the first, the first invasion of the Philippines was when they brought MacArthur back. We brought him back. And it was uh, Lady Gulf, and nothing happened to us there. Matter of fact, there wasn't any anybody on the shore. MacArthur just wandered in, <laughs> you know, walked in, got his feet wet a little bit. Uh, but then, then when we went to uh, uh, the northern Philippines, that was Lingayan Gulf, and uh, we got hit by a kamikaze there, and uh, he hit up in four decks above the main deck. And between the aviation gasoline and the bomb that he was carrying, killed everybody on the back of the ship. 69 guys. Uh, and it was a funny part for me is that uh, we weren't even at general quarters when, you know, when all this was coming to pass. And I'm sitting on the quarter deck, you know, like a gentleman. <laughs> and uh, some, somebody, they, they passed the word, they said, bogey 180. Now, if you, if you can see a circle, 360 degrees, so zero is here, 180 is down here. So when they said 180, that meant it was coming in this way. So I thought, I think I'll go get a drink. <laughs> so I went, I went inside the deck house, I'm drinking a glass, you know, off, off the, the scuttlebutt. And uh, uh, when it hit, and Christ, you know, the whole damn ship was on a flame, practically. And there was a cruiser to Columbia that I helped build, was near us. And they took a picture of the whole thing. Huh. And, it, you know, you could see the whole back of the ship was just one, one mass flame. And it was funny because, uh, funny, odd. Uh, uh, what, what they do, like, they figure on things like this is going to happen, and sure as hell it does. And uh, the chief petty officer's mess was not too far from where I'm standing, you know, when it hit. And... Uh, all the guys that couldn't make it through all that, they did. And I can, I can still remember you want to help them. And this kid said, don't touch me. So I didn't. And that was that.